The Rwandan Ministry of Infrastructure has launched the construction of new homes meant to accommodate migrants deported from the United Kingdom. The housing development project for 528 housing units, supposed to take six months, will be implemented under the UK-Rwanda Migration Partnership. The UK reached a deal with Rwanda in April last year, under which illegal immigrants and asylum seekers are to be sent to the East African country to have their claims processed there. Here's a report from Kigali. Men and women are busy at work in capital Kigali. Rwanda continues to build houses that according to the agreements signed in 2022 will accommodate asylum seekers who have been deported from the UK. So basically the houses are meant to be for Rwandans, targeting the low income earners, those who don't have land, who don't have houses, They'll be the first to own these houses. That's the basis of us being here. British Interior Minister Swella Braverman, who was on a tour to Rwanda recently, defended the controversial plan to deport asylum seekers. Braverman and Rwandan Foreign Minister Vincent Biruta say the UK-Rwanda partnership could become a model for other countries. We saw at the end of last year people dying on the channel in their ill-fated attempt to get to the UK. So the compassionate thing to do and the humanitarian thing to do is find another solution. And that's why I believe, just as the Minister has just said, that there is a real opportunity here to resettle people in safe and secure environments where they can lead a prosperous and healthy life. What we want to do is to create, it, to create an innovative solution to be able to offer to these asylum seekers and migrants alike safety, security and opportunities for them to, to live a decent life. But UK's Interior Minister has been under immense criticism. She has faced the wrath in Parliament and the world over for her approach to the matter. A photograph of Braverman laughing at the sight of a housing estate under construction for asylum seekers triggered a meme photoshopped into others of Nazi death camps from World War II. The original photo of Braverman was cropped, while a wider shot showed her laughing along with two Rwandan people. More than 45,000 migrants arrived on the shores of southeast England on small boats in 2022, a 60% annual increase on a perilous route that has been used by more people every year since 2018. UK government, which is trailing in opinion polls, has been striving for years to tackle the crossings. It had hoped the threat of a one-way ticket to Rwanda would deter the cross-channel journeys. The Rwandan government is optimistic about the move. Mixing Rwandans and migrants is a good thing because it will help Rwandans to live in places that are, I would say, modern. It will also allow migrants to be easily integrated into the Rwandan community. As we said, we don't want to make migrant camps apart and Rwandans living on the other side. Phase 1 of the project is supposed to end in June with 240 units. After that, Hebuiza Riverside Homes, which is the agency overseeing the construction, will aim to complete the whole project of 2400 units. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.